Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Benghazi survivor Chris Peranto gets revenge on Valerie after Roseanne loses show. In the wake of the controversy surrounding Roseanne Barr, Chris Peranto, a former Army Ranger and military contractor who survived the Benghazi terrorist attack, seems to have gotten the perfect revenge on Valerie Jarrett after Roseanne lost her hit show. On Tuesday, Roseanne Barr's pro-Trump comedy was cancelled after she released a tweet comparing Valerie Jarrett to Planet of the Apes. Fans of Roseanne and her show, even those who didn't agree with her tweet, were stunned when ABC was so quick to give her the boot. After all, others have said much worse and gone on to enjoy lucrative television deals. ABC has pulled the plug on the revival Roseanne. The move comes after series star and creator Roseanne Barr made a comment on Twitter Tuesday morning referring to former Obama aide Valerie Jarrett as looking like the offspring of the Muslim Brotherhood and Planet of the Apes. Jarrett, an African-American, was born in Iran to American parents. Roseanne's Twitter statement is abhorrent, repugnant and inconsistent with our values, and we have decided to cancel her show, ABC Entertainment President Channing Dungey said in a statement. Disney chairman and CEO Bob Iger voiced his support for the cancellation tweeting, there was only one thing to do here, and that was the right thing. Barr deleted her tweet about Jared not long after posting it. She followed it up with an apology that read, I apologize to Valerie Jared and to all Americans. I am truly sorry for making a bad joke about her politics and her looks. I should have known better. Forgive me my joke was in bad taste. I am now leaving Twitter. Source, Variety. While those on the left have applauded ABC's move, Claiming a racist was exposed and dealt with in the appropriate fashion, Chris Peranto, a former Army Ranger and military contractor who survived the Benghazi terrorist attack, believes something else was exposed in the ordeal, namely, the media's double standard when it comes to what will be tolerated when it comes from conservatives versus liberals. Peranto hammered ABC for cancelling Roseanne's pro-Trump comedy, tweeting, The liberalist hypocrisy is crumbling, real racists are in the corrupted DNC and Hollywoodites. The patriots of this great nation are no longer fooled, so the more you try to hold on, the more people slip through your fingers. The Benghazi survivor took particular objection to the fact that nasty jokes do not even begin to compare to nasty actions like the ones Jarrett was responsible for during the time she was an aide to former President Barack Obama. Peranto provided a list of Jarrett's most egregious offenses, demonstrating the glaring difference between reprehensible actions and reprehensible words. Rosie's tweet against it Valerie Jarrett is not bigger than. 1. Valerie supporting the Muslim Brotherhood terrorists 2. Cutting deals with Iran along W slash at Barack Obama 3. Being one of the big eight in the USG who turned Libya into a failed state. All causing countless deaths, he tweeted. Jarrett's history of supporting terrorist nations has been well documented. In 2015, Judicial Watch released documents exposing her family's ties to communism and the Muslim Brotherhood. It's been well documented that Valerie Jarrett, a Chicago lawyer and longtime Obama confidant, is a liberal extremist who wields tremendous power in the White House, the organization reported. Faithful to her roots, she still has connections to many communist and extremist groups, including the Muslim Brotherhood. Furthermore, in 2012, an Israeli newspaper reported that Jared had, on multiple occasions, held secret talks with Iranian leaders, including representatives of Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. In 2013, the Times of Israel also reported that Obama's closest advisor had held secret talks with Iran. The administration would eventually cut a nuclear deal with the Islamic regime, which included pallets of cash for the terror-harboring nation. And, of course, Jared helped Hillary Clinton choreograph the regime change in Libya after Muammar Gaddafi was ousted, leaving the country in an extremely unstable condition and handing Obama what he defined as his worst mistake. Compare an odd-looking liberal politician to a character from a movie and you're liable to lose your career. Meanwhile, as long as you're a Democrat, you can literally be responsible for the deaths of innocent Americans and still be lauded a hero. This is a sickening reality when you really think about it. Chris Perotto is chillingly correct. Roseanne Barr's dumb comments resulted in hurt feelings, but Valerie Jarrett's dumb actions resulted in lives lost. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.